And this is the time to say hello to all the Eurovision fans out there. Thanks so much for watching. We are live from Copenhagen, from Eurovision Island, on day two of the rehearsals for the Eurovision Song Contest. And right now, we have a meet and greet with Christina Scarlett from Moldova. Welcome, Christina. How are you today? Thank you. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Eurovision fans. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here today. It's a great, great day for me. I passed the uh, first time in my life on, uh, on a stage of Eurovision. And for me, it's a big um, mm, pleasure and a big event, I think, mm. for my life, personally. You've had a chance to, uh, to rehearse on the stage now. How, did you th how do you think that went? How was the first rehearsal? Was the, uh, if uh, I'll say about the sound, was perfect, incredible perfect. Not, I mean, not uh, how I sing, what I hear in my ears, uh, because I was a little bit afraid, I will tell you the truth. I was high, <laughs> I was a little bit afraid, uh, because for us singers it's very important to have a good sound. And uh, I will tell you, it's the first time when I sing with the uh, in here, and I heard that will be something strange, but it's incredible, perfect. Thank you very much for the sound. Thank you, I love you too much. Oh, Thank you very, very great. much. That's yeah. good to hear. So um, we have um, the social media uh, thing going on where we uh, invite the viewers to ask questions to all the artists. You can use the hashtag Ask Eurovision and remember to include the name of the artist or the country of the artist that you want to pose a question to. And you have a question from Lucas Jimenez who asks, there are two parts in your song. There's, there's a strong woman, and there's a very sensitive woman in your song. Um, which side do you relate to the most? Um, I think, uh, okay, I know I'm a powerful woman, and uh, I think I'm both. You because, both? Yes, I want to be um, romantic, uh, free dreaming on, but the life it's a little bit um, difficult, maybe, and we need to be uh, fighters, mm, whatever. Uh, or overcome any difficulty. Okay, overcome every difficulty. Mm -hmm. Yes, because that relates to the message of your song and the title of your song, Wild Soul. Can you can you elaborate a little bit more about what the song is about and the message you have? Uh, I have here my lyrics uh, writer, uh, Lady Scarlatt. She's my niece. She's my angel, really, really is my angel. I love her. She helped me very, mu <laughs> uh, very much. And uh, thank you, God, that I have her. And she will tell you exactly what it means, mm, Wild Soul. Yes, tell us about the lyrics. Um, so I knew Christina. I know Christina, obviously, for a long time because we were relatives. And uh, knowing Christina, I thought that wild soul is exactly what it means to be a woman who has a family and goes through life for many difficulties and has to have a very powerful inner spirit. So um, I think that wild soul is basically about every person who feels that there's a lot of power, inner power, that we need in order to overcome any problems that we have in life. And Wild Soul is about finding that little corner in the depths of your spirit um, to be able to fly and be free again. Hmm. Well, speaking of family, um, there's another question for you on Twitter from uh, ESC Ramadan who, who asks, what do your children think of you representing Moldova in the, uh, in the contest? Of course, my children... Thank you for all the questions. Of course, my children are very proud, very happy that uh, I am a winner in my country. And uh, first, what she says, my daughter, she said that, Mom, you are our queen. Aww. Oh my God, when I hear it, I was so, <laughs> so touched. And um, of course, my son, he is very proud. And uh, for them, it's very important, my career for my child and the, if they uh, support me every time and hope that I will go up more and more. But in, in Moldova, you're actually famous for the way that you manage to have a successful career 
and also a family. Um, what is your secret to, uh, yeah, to combining the both in, the, in a meaningful way? I'll tell you the truth. Uh, for me, the most important in my life is my family because I'm I came for from a very beautiful family. My parents are uh, um, artists, artists, and they keep the family and they give to me uh, education, um, family values. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, for me, the, the, the most important was to make a family. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy that I found my half uh, of my heart. My husband, Sergei, she, he uh, helped me uh, and support me every time. And uh, that was a biggest... Um, mm, Re biggest realization. Realization. Re realization in my life that... I have a big, uh, big family. I have a beautiful family. I have a daughter, Sophia. She's five years old. Uh, Johan, he is um, my son, nine years old. And after I start to make a career, before I make the family, but when I um, when I met my husband, I said, stop now my career. It's time to make a family. Yeah. And um, we make it together. After when uh, my child, children come um, grow, up. grow up, I said that it's time to continue my career. And I continue it. Good. Um, changing the subject, would you like to introduce who you have with you on stage here, the quartet yes, over course. here? Yes, of course. Um, uh, I am Ken. I will say I, I will tell you that I am very lucky and very happy because I have my team. Um, they are not only the dancers, the choreographers, the songwriters. The, they are my family also, and I want to present you my choreographer. Every time I said not to correctly this word choreographer, I think it's okay. Yeah. Everybody understand me? Absolutely. It's Lilian Karouche. He is. Uh, the best, the best choreographer in uh, Moldova. My uh, my dancers. Um, I will start to from the first is Dragos, Eugen, and Vadim. And my um, our choreographer, he decided to be closer, and he decided to dance with us, with the, to be with us on the stage. And thank you to him very much for this. I I, th I feel um, um, my Sigura um, more sure on stage. I feel more sure on stage when I have him closer to me. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> that is a very handsome gang you have there. Now, should we open up for some questions? Please, yeah, just raise your hand so we can see them and. We have a question all the way from Australia. Alistair, you must be jet-lagged. Uh, that, that was yesterday. Yeah, it was so. yesterday, okay. <laughs> um, C C Christina, a, a quick question. Uh, your, your song is very dramatic. Maybe you can explain how you developed the choreography to complement the dramatic music. I think that uh, Ileana will uh, answer um, better than me. Hello. Um, so for for me, it was very hard to um, combine um, the message of the song with the choreography. I hope I uh, understood and I and I done a good job. So this this is my hope. But uh, from beginning, we I thought that uh, we have to be a satellites of Christina and this song. So we are not a dancers probably with cannot be judged like dancers or a dance uh, choreography, but just uh, uh, help the message come to the audience. Like a word. Yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes Thanks. sense, yes. We have a question in the back row here. Can we have a microphone for this gentleman? <laughs> Hi, Christina. Hello. Microphone for can you tell me some things you've been doing around Copenhagen since you arrived? What have you seen of the city so far? Ah, searching for food. <laughs> <laughs> because it's very expensive for us. <laughs> okay, but uh, of course we... 
<laughs> I was um, thinking about uh, the first rehearsal and prepare for this, but anyway, we enjoyed it. Really, we enjoyed this time, every second. Anyone else? Yes, we have a question over here, and there's a microphone. Hello, Christina, nearby. behind the camera. Hello. Man. <laughs> I'm here. Yes, we have met hello. briefly in Amsterdam, and you came to a promotion course there, a promotion tour there. Um, which other countries have you been able to visit for your promotion tour, and what are the plans for after Eurovision? Will you be working on an album, perhaps? I was in Amsterdam, it was a big um, pleasure for me, it was a big event and I enjoy it and uh, uh, I miss it now really, Amsterdam and uh, our concert. Um, I was in Moscow, uh, also we made their concert, it was a big and nice uh, party. But after your vision, let me to see what will happen, and after I will tell you for sure. <laughs> well, because I didn't have too much time, um, I did. I didn't open. Was a, we uh, we want to go to um, to Romania. We didn't have time after we uh, before we go want to go in uh, London, but with a visa, big problems. I hope that in the future, no visa, mm -hmm. because uh, we, we, it's a problem. We want to um, share our songs and not only to be closer to all uh, Europe, of course. Any other questions? Otherwise, I have something I'd like to ask you because you have already uh, competed in musical competitions in Moldova. Um, what do you think is, is special about the Eurovision Song Contest compared to what you have already done? Um. Yeah, it's true that it's super organization. Super organizing, <laughs> exactly. Sorry if I will, to, I mean, make mistakes. The English no, is not my. No, it's completely uh, fine. We understand. <laughs> Thank you. I try to be uh, correct. Yeah, and we appreciate it. It's it's fine. It's the biggest event in Moldova. This, the, the yes, the Eurovision. It's the biggest event in Moldova, and uh, I think uh, that Eurovision give uh, a chance to the singers, to artists, to show our, um, to show the soul, to show what you want to say on stage. Uh, don't uh, the Eurovision don't. No, no. Does, uh, the Eurovision doesn't limit, uh, and we, we can be what we are on a stage, and that's most important. And do you consider yourself a wild soul? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> Good. Um, but um, the, uh, not sometimes, almost time. All yes. the time, most of the time. Good, thank you. Well, thank you so much. And big uh, pleasure. thank you to all the Eurovision fans online. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can ask questions via Ask Eurovision, the hashtag Ask, ask Eurovision on Twitter. And uh, we'll be back in 20 minutes with San Marino and Valentina Moneta. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Thank you.